Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Ellinger Topac Amara Wash Processed Guatemala from Agawa Coffee. And there's the cup right there. And Agawa, originally based out of Kyoto, Japan. I am currently outside of their Setagaya City location, and yes, it is raining quite hard, but I'm originally from Seattle, so the rain certainly does not bother me. If anything, it's actually a nice reprieve from the very sunny and hot conditions that I've been dealing with up to this point. Yes, this is my first time ever trying this coffee roaster, as they're one of the more well-known Japanese-based coffee roasters, having been around since the 1950s. And since their original Kyoto location, they have expanded to multiple locations in Tokyo as well. So I figured they were one of the coffee shops I needed to visit while I was out here. Let's go ahead and give this one a shot. And the notes for this coffee is pretty similar to the other coffee shops we've been to where you can purchase pretty much any of their current offerings as a pour over. So this one right here is a pour over and this came from their deluxe offerings as so they had three high end offerings which included two Brazilian coffees, one an anaerobic natural Brazilian coffee that I certainly wasn't overly interested in. But this one right here they describe as very light in terms of the roast profile. I'll go ahead and show you the very wet card right here. This is very light. The roast profile on it, though, it definitely is a fair bit more developed than a lot of the stuff that I've drank. Actually, it might be the most developed cup of coffee that we've had up to this point, which honestly is a little bit in line with my expectations for this coffee roaster. Usually, if a coffee roaster has been around for that long, then they don't tend to modernize as much as a lot of the current modern coffee roasters that are out there. So this one right here actually feels a little bit more medium to me, even though they have it listed as a very light for them. So I think that they just developed their coffees a little bit more than a lot of the other coffee roasters out here. Now, the descriptors of the coffee itself, they have something along the lines of a peach note listed on here, which is abundantly prominent right from the start, and it's actually one of the most notable and pronounced things I experienced from this coffee. But that was also in contrast to a slightly more developed and roasty profile, as I could definitely feel a fair bit of the smoky qualities to it. So in two ways, it felt like a slightly smoky peach, which kind of actually works for me. I don't mind if there's maybe a little bit more development. Sorry, got interrupted right there. Yes, I don't mind if there's a little bit more development if the flavor profile makes up for it. So there was some really nice sweetness that was attributed to this as well. But it offered a lot of those Central American qualities with maybe a slight bit more development to it. So that, of course, being a little bit of chocolate and a nice caramelized candied aspect to the cup as well. So some really nice positive things I took away. But let's go ahead and put up the tasting wheel so you can't see what we were getting. All right, and got my notes right here. And we have one level five, which is the finish level five. Yes, and unfortunately for me, it is a fair bit of that smoky finish that's present within this one. So this one does linger a fair bit in the cup itself as there are so many of those just, I do want to say developed qualities that you experience from coffees that may be roasted a little bit more. So that's pretty long lasting, but there's also a nice little peachy finish that's present within this as well. So those things are really nice in this. Interrupted again. <laughs> All right, then we have a handful of level fours. We'll start with the sweetness level four. I think a lot of this coffee makes up for the things I don't particularly like by offering a fair bit of sweetness to the cup as well. So yes, a little bit of a candied sweetness, but also plenty of the uh, fruit sweetness, that peachy sweetness is definitely prominent and pronounced in this cup as well. So massive credit to them in that regard. Stone fruit level four, yes. And that's the thing I've been mentioning the most right from the start, as it definitely had a nice long lasting peachy quality to it. I think they have something along the lines of a mango also listed on here. And I could see that there are just some more sugary stone fruits in general in this cup. Chocolate level four, yes. It's a little bit more of that darker chocolate, that slightly bitter dark chocolate to it. So that's present within this as well. Then we have a bunch of level threes. We will start with the acidity level three. I'm going to show you the little chart that they have on here. And as you can see, the chart differs from me quite a bit as they have the uh, acidity listed on uh, the higher side of things. And there's a fair bit of acidity to it, uh, fruit bright acidity, but it's maybe not quite to the same extent that they're stating here as I've definitely had some more bright coffees in this trip. So not quite for me at that level four, but level three, it did have maybe a little bit more brightness given the profile of this one. Florality level three, yes, there is a floral quality that's present underneath all of this. I do want to say a slight bit of that honeysuckle-like aspect, but again, that's kind of contrasting the more roasted qualities. And then the citrus fruit level three, yes, there's a slight citric component to this cup as well. Caramel level three, I've been already discussing the caramelized aspect of this one, which is Probably my favorite things when coffees are a slight bit more developed. Smokiness, level three. Yes, it's one another one of the first things I had mentioned. So there's definitely a little bit more of that quality to it. 
body level three. I think that they have the body listed pretty high as well. I could kind of see that. Given that this one was a pour over, I fully expected it to be maybe a little less body to it than what they had listed on here. And surprisingly for me, it didn't have quite as high of a body as they listed. So interesting in that sense. Last thing really worth discussing is the cleanliness level three. Yes, uh, the smoky quality is definitely going to take away from the overall clarity and cleanliness for me. And for that reason, it scored that level three mark as otherwise it does have a really nice defined profile. I contemplated whether or not I wanted to put it all the way up there at that level four because of the really nice peachy aspect to it. But that smoky quality really is just going to take away from it. And I don't think it necessarily justifies scoring that level four as so many other cleaner coffees we review have. Uh, other than that, I think that's a pretty good representation of what I was getting from this coffee. All right, so my overall thoughts and impressions of this coffee. I'm going to wrap this one up really quick as it's raining even harder right now. I would say that it's obviously not necessarily going to be my favorite. The profile on it is a little too far for me, so it's never going to be anything that's overly appealing to me. Uh, the peachy quality was really nice, and given that this is one of their higher-end offerings, I do have to say that it's probably going to be significantly better than a lot of the other ones I would try. So credit to them for offering at least some aspects and parts of this coffee that I found to be really nice, even if it wasn't my type of coffee to begin with type of person I would suggest this coffee to. Anybody that really likes their overly peachy qualities to it, if you don't mind a little bit more development and profile to your coffee, because this one right here had that, and those were the two really notable and biggest takeaways I had from this one. So best direction I can point somebody towards and the best way I can leave this review. If you by chance had an opportunity to try this coffee, would love to know your thoughts and impressions of it, or a Gao as well. If you're enjoying the content, give this video a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. This right here has been a review of the El Ingerto Pacamara, wash processed Guatemala from Agawa Coffee. Thank you for watching.